In this demo I will talk about how we can control the Windows 7 driver store and a little bit more about device drivers. The very purpose of having a device driver store is that we as an administrator or a technician can pre-stage device drivers into the store so that a normal user can actually install that device. In, in compared with XP, when you added a driver, it was actually the security context of the user that installed the driver. But in, in Windows Vista and above, it's actually a server, it's a local system running that setup. It's a trusted installer most of the time. So if you peek into the folder structure of a Windows 7 client or a server, you will actually have a driver store with a file repository. And in here you can find all the built-in drivers, for example. As I demonstrated in a previous demo, you can simply use DISM to stage things into the driver store. But what I also can do is to, for example, use pmputil-e to list all the third-party drivers. In this case, you actually think this is a third-party driver, which is funny. And this is the uh, XPS printer driver from Microsoft. But I can just use the A switch to also add in drivers, additional ones, online into the driver store. But most times we will do it offline using DISM, like I showed you in the previous demo. One of the benefits of having uh, a driver store is also that now we have the ability to control drivers using group policy. So if I go to the administrative template system device installations, we can now use different policies to control what devices we allow or what devices we don't allow or we need to prevent. So we can either do this on a class base saying I'm not allowing or I'm preventing all net class devices. But we can also do this on a device ID specific level. So you can basically create, create whitelists or blacklists of devices uh, that you enforce the usage of in your organization. And by the way, you don't have to put superglue in the USB contacts anymore. You can simply enable a policy that says don't allow removable devices. You cannot add USB sticks into the system. And you can also use uh, this one up here to allow administrators to override these restriction policies. Speaking of the device drivers, one of the most common issues with, with drivers is that you add a driver to the repository and somehow it's not being added to your deployment. So when working with MDT, first of all, when MDT add drivers, it actually copies them to C colon drivers first. Then later on, they are staged and injected by the setup. And point is, if a driver is not here in the first place, trust me, it will never ever be installed later on. But assuming the driver is in here, the perfect valid example would be that you add a video driver into the store and for some reason when you deploy that machine the standard VDA driver is is picked up. Why? Well, because of driver ranking. In the um, setupapi.dev.log file this one this is the information about all the installation of device drivers in Windows. You can also see some information in the CBS log file and also in the setupact.log file. But if I go into this file and start to look to see what device drivers are being installed, this is a sample where Windows actually searched 39 drivers and it found two matching ones. But which one did it pick? Well, it's the ranking score that allows Windows to pick a driver. And in this case, this one was the winning one. Why? Because it has the lower value. And the lower value, the better. So to understand these ranking, the first two is the signature, the type of signing. The next two is how feature complete the driver is. And the last four is how well it's matching the plug-and-play ID of that device. 
because again sometimes we actually have to modify the in file directly to make it better because that could for example be a bug in the driver the only problem is if we do make an, any changes to an in file it will break the signing and for example for 64-bit windows driver signing is required so what we have to do then is sign the drivers ourselves create a code signing certificate and, and sign them but by reviewing this log file we can actually figure out why a specific driver was selected before another one.